You may recognize this man as a Brooklyn-born rapper, Takashi69. He recently testified against a violent drug trafficking gang in New York after pleading guilty to charges stemming from his role in the gang, according to the New York Times. This has put his life in danger, and he was offered participation in the witness protection program, which he declined. This is just one example of witnesses who testified against a person or group of people and are in immediate danger. Today you will be informed about the Witness Protection Program or Witness Security Program, also known as WITSEC. To gain a better understanding of what WITSEC is, we will first discuss the beginning of WITSEC, second, determine those involved in it, third, examine the filing process, fourth, explore the inner workings of the program, and fifth, look at some specific witness stories. First, we will discuss what WITSEC is, and the following video is Gerald Schur, a former attorney who founded WITSEC. Protection program, we hear about it in novels or on television shows. What is it in real life? Well, it, in, in real life, it is uh, taking individuals who are in danger because they're cooperating with the federal government or in some cases, the state government, and uh, they uh, will wind up being killed, frankly, if they testify. And so we needed a mechanism where we could put witnesses on the witness stand and make sure that uh, uh, they will survive after they testify. The Organized Crime Control Act of 1970 outlines the basic principles of the Witness Protection Program. It states that the Attorney General can provide for the protection of witnesses in whatever manner deemed most useful under the special circumstances of each case. This law gave the Department of Justice a wide scope to accommodate what attorneys deemed necessary to protect witnesses. Following the implementation of the Organized Crime Control Act, Gerald Scher founded the Witness Protection Program. Thirteen years later, the Comprehensive Crime Control Act provided protection of relatives and associates. Secondly, we will discuss who is involved in WITSEC. Three organizations manage WITSEC. The United States Department of Justice Office of Enforcement Operations authorizes the admission into the program of witnesses whose lives are in danger as a result of their testimony against criminals. The United States Marshal Service provides security, health, and safety of non-incarcerated program participants. The Federal Bureau of Prisons maintains custody of incarcerated witnesses. In addition to these three organizations, the U.S. Attorney General's Office has the final word on all witness protection cases. Thirdly, we will examine the filing process. The process of consideration for offering witness protection begins with witness identification. To determine if protection is worth the contribution of the witness, WITSEC carefully examines the significance of the witness's case and the expected testimony. After prediction has been offered and the witness has accepted it, the witness and family members must sign a memorandum of understanding, verifying that they understand and will follow the rules of the program. Before offering protection, WITSEC carries out an intensive screening process to determine that the contribution of the case is significant enough that the witness needs protection, and whether other factors such as threat level and medical problems may affect the witness's safety. Fourth, we will explore the inner workings of WITSEC and what it is like. In the following video is a clip from the popular fictional TV show My Name is Earl, in which the main character is offered witness protection but wants to change some important information. The life she wanted. So you're not happy with the name you've been given? That's right. You'd like your name to be Goldie Crystal? Well, my full name would be Goldilocks, and it's pronounced Crystal like but Diddy drinks. I'm sorry, new identities are worked out in the top secret wing of the Pentagon. The names are the result of some very complicated mathematical algorithms. Phyllis and Marty Rosenstein? Yeah. Look at this face. Do I look like a Phyllis to you? No. Individuals in WITSEC have 24-hour protection. In addition, almost all of them were criminals or were involved with criminals, prior to their testimonies that led to protection. Altogether, over 18,000 people have participated in it. During relocation, transitioning can be very difficult. It involves the individual leaving everyone they know, including family members. WITSEC provides participants with some financial assistance for a period of time, at which point they are expected to find a job. In the following video, Schur explains how WITSEC determines financial assistance. So stop. And I might mention the financial system, assistance. That is based upon a Bureau of Labor Statistics formula depending on the number of people in the family and the city in which the people are located. So a person living in Corpus Christi, Texas, a family of four, may get less money than a family living in New York City if we've relocated them there. 
be, just because of the, the differences in cost of living. This is not a reward program, and it should not be confused with that. Uh, it is only enough money to get by on until we're able to find employment for the witness. Fifth, we will look at a few individual witness stories. One example of a witness who didn't follow the rules laid out by WITSEC is Brenda Paz. As a member of MS-13, she was the girlfriend of the gang leader and offered knowledgeable insight into murders and crimes committed by the gang. She joined WITSEC in 2002, but was labeled difficult to care for because while she was living under their protection, she fled her new house twice, invited her friends over multiple times, and reunited with gang members. In 2003, Paz was living in a hotel in Missouri when she allowed several gang members to visit her. She left the hotel with them, and days later, she was found dead. On the other hand, the movie Goodfellas is based on the true story of a somewhat successful witness who stayed relatively safe. Henry Hill Jr. was a member of the Mafia in New York for several decades until he was ousted. He became an FBI informant, and his testimonies helped convict dozens of people in the gang, according to the New York Times. He entered the program in 1980, but several years later, he was expelled based on relentless misbehavior that included drug possession. While he died of natural causes, he was forced to wear disguises in public for the rest of his life and would have been safer in Witsec. While there definitely are success stories, they will likely never be known because it is against the rules for witnesses or others to talk about them. According to the U.S. Marshal Service, no witness security program participant following program guidelines has been harmed or killed while under the active protection of the U.S. Marshal Service. I guess we could say that, until we know about them, they're success stories. Altogether, we discussed first what WITSEC is, second, who is involved in managing it, third, how it is filed, fourth, what it is like, and fifth, specific witness stories. Today, you were informed about the Witness Protection Program and its inner workings. We hope you were able to walk away with more information about WITSEC than the average crime comedy. Enjoy the final scene of the fictional movie, We're the Millers. Hey there. Hey. Just wanted to introduce ourselves. Uh, I'm Dan. Hey, Dan. This is my wife, Kathy. We just moved in. Hello. We're the Johnsons. Oh, great. Welcome to the neighborhood. Hey, guys. Come here. We meet our neighbors. I'm David. And uh, this is my family right here. Hi. This is my son, Kenny, my daughter, Casey, Hi. and this is my wife, Sarah. Nice to meet you. We're the Millers. Pleasure. Well, thanks for saying hi. All right, take care now. Bye. Bye. I don't like them. I don't like them either. Why come over and introduce yourself? I mean, who the fuck are you? I can't believe this. We're stuck in the suburbs. Now this sucks. I can't wait for the trial to be over. Gotta get out of here.